So I'm going to show you how I created a hundreds chart using these materials. So we're going to use rulers, pencils, pens, and markers. Then you can decide what paper you want, whether it's copy paper, printer paper, cardstock, or construction paper. I'm going to be using just the regular copy printer paper. And I'm going to take the ruler and kind of generally measure out my rectangle so that it's pretty straight. Um, I'm going to put this white paper over the yellow paper so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I didn't want my hundreds chart to run into the edge of the paper so I kind of measured about a quarter inch away from the edge and then about a half an inch away from the top of the page and the bottom of the page. So once I have those landmarks on my sheet, I'm just going to con connect the lines, hoping that they'll be straight even with the ruler. Again, this is not to have like perfect measurements, it's just to kind of get like a rectangle where the lines and the sides are pretty close to being the same. Um, and then to make my half marks, I fold my paper or I bend it in half um, and then kind of mark where the half or the midpoint would be. You can use a ruler to do this as well. This is just a simple, fast way for me to kind of find the midpoint. And then We're going to connect the lines for both of those midpoints going vertical and horizontal. So now with these four sections, we need to separate them into five columns on both sides for a total of 10. So each box or each of the four boxes turned out to be about four inches. So you need to Divide those four inches into five equal parts, as close as you can. So try to measure them out. And they still weren't exact, exact the same exact distance apart. Um, did that all the way around and then I connected the lines. So I wanted five equal parts on both sides of those midpoint lines. And then once you have your lines vertically, you want to do the same thing horizontally so that you have your total of 100 boxes to make your hundreds chart. And of course you can do this by freehand. You definitely don't have to use a ruler if you don't want to, if you just want to kind of eye it and make your 100 boxes or 10 by 10 rows and columns. You can do that. So there we have it. So now we're going to fill in the numbers on the hundreds chart. I'm using the marker at this point. Um, I would advise you start with your pencil because I made one or two errors trying to go a little fast and then I had to scribble it out. So of course I would probably use white out if this is my final copy, but doing it over again, I would definitely start with pencil and then just trace it. And when you're going with the pattern, sometimes I know for me, I kind of got off because I was thinking about a different number. So the next time I do it, I would use a pencil first and then trace it with the marker that I choose. So there we have our 100 numbers in our cells. You can leave it like this or you can outline. Um, use the black marker to create an outline. 
You can leave it like that and then you can or you can outline or thicken the lines that are going up and down vertically and horizontally. Just takes a little time, but I think it's well worth it um, if you want to save some money or if you don't want to use the computer to create it, you can do this quickly in a few minutes. Well, not that quick because I had to measure out those lines. <laughs> and then you can kind of secure it by adding it to the construction paper, stapling it. You can even laminate it so you can use it multiple times in your classroom. But there you go. So we're gonna open up the PowerPoint program and choose a blank presentation. Now, get rid of some of these on the page. Get rid of the text. Get rid of the text boxes. So we're gonna go over to design and then slide size and page setup to adjust our width. So we're gonna make the width eight and a half inches and the height 11 inches. And then we're gonna to go to insert table. And because it's a 100 chart, I want to make the columns 10 and the rows 10. So here's our table. I wanna have a blank table. So I'm getting rid of that color. And then I want to increase the cell sizes. I want to make sure the entire table is selected and then increase <clears throat> the table row height and the table row width. So I'm going to go to eight and then eight. So you can technically have your height be longer like that but I kind of like it when it's all the same so I'm going to bring that back down to eight now here my edges are a little close so I'm going to actually bring that in seven is too far in I think we can do let's do seven five All right, and because I want the boxes to be the same height and width, I'm going to make the height 7.5 as well. All right, let's make sure it's centered one last time. There we have it. So we have our basic chart to make our 100 or 100 chart. So now what I'm going to do is work on the numbers that go inside of my boxes. So I'm going to go back to the home and I'm going to choose a font that I want to use. And I'm going to choose a size. Let's see that. Let's make sure it's in the middle for both. So I have one here and I like that. Let's go ahead and repeat this for the entire row. And then I'm gonna change each number. Now when I get to 10, notice how, because of the size that I chose for the numbers, it's too big for that cell. So I do need to bring down the size of my numbers because I want them to be the same. So there's 34, let's see, there we go. They're, now they're at 32. Let's see how, I, how large I can get them without um, causing the 10 to make two lines. So I do 34, and then we know 36 is too big. So let's go back to 34. So then I'm going to repeat this for each row but I actually want the 10 to just stay zero. So when I go and put the 20, 30, 40, 50 and all that, I just have to type in the number in front that goes in the tens place. I'm gonna copy that and now 
paste it in the entire chart. All right, so one more thing before I change all the numbers, I wanna check the size when I put 100. So that's too big. So because it's three digits and I like the size of the other numbers, I'm actually just gonna change the 100. Or actually, let's go lower. Let's see how low we can go. I think that's too small. 28's good. 28's good. So I'm going to highlight these and bring those down to 28. That works for me. So now I need to go in and change the numbers. For me, it's easier to go down the columns because I can just type in the number versus if I do the rows, then I have to go over with my cursor two times. And I like to just get into a flow. This also works, but I can go a little bit faster when I'm going down the column. And then move my cursor over. And there you have your basic hundreds chart. We can add a text box for a title, change to a font that you want, get the size that you want, and then center it, bring that up. All right, so there is our basic chart. You can save this as a picture. You right click and then save as picture. You can save it as a PNG, hundreds chart template. And then save that. So if you want to, whenever you want to print out more or um, create something using the hundreds chart, you can insert it as a picture. And it pops right up and nothing can be adjusted once you save it as a picture. If you do want to edit, you want to leave it as it is in the PowerPoint. So something else you can do um, and another way to be creative is to add different images so maybe you want to have different hundreds chart centers or games or homework pieces for your students or your children at home you could add in little icons or clip art to match the season so i'm going to go to the icons so if we started in august and we wanted to represent school we can do a picture of like the school insert that you can leave it black and white or you can add color so if i double click on that the color comes up and i can choose like a blue or we can do like a darker let's choose that blue all right so then i would duplicate that page and then i would for september maybe an apple for johnny Appleseed.
All right, so there you have it. We can make our own hundreds chart using PowerPoint and you can save a template, a blank tem template as a picture that you can use at any point or you can make multiple copies and add in different clip art for your choice. So there you have how to make your own hundred chart using PowerPoint. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the bell for notifications so that you know when the next video is posted. Until next time, see you in the next video.